Happy Monday, Daily Dosers. Chris here. I'm going to end this with a challenge. I don't know if you're going to be ready for it or not. For those of you that go, man, I love challenges. This is going to... Others of you are like, oh, I don't want to be challenged right now. Just listen. You decide whether or not you want to take it. We ended our study this weekend talking in the first chapter of the book of John about John the baptizer and about John when all the religious leaders came out to him and said, well, who gives you the right to have all the crowds come out to baptize people? Why is everyone coming to you? Are you the Messiah? Are you the prophet? Are you Elijah? And John's like, I am not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm just a voice. I'm just a voice in the wilderness. We talked this weekend how we all have barrenness, how we all have wilderness, and man, we need life change in it. And we talked about being redeemed by God. And the moment you and I have found redemption, the moment you and I have found Christ, we now have become a voice. It's, it's, it's not an option to put on your Christianity. It's your purpose today, this week. Wherever you're driving, wherever you're listening, let me remind you, if you're a Christian, you have a purpose in the kingdom of the eternal God. You have a purpose this week. Let me read you from Matthew 5 just to remind you what that is. Um, very famous verses. You are the salt of the earth. And if salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men. You are the salt. You are the flavor of the earth of God. And if you're not going to be salty, you don't have a purpose here. If you're not going to be impactful, if you're not going to be a preservative for life here, part of the kingdom... The, the, what do you do with salt that's not salty? You throw it out. There's no purpose for you here. And then it says this, you are a light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the exact same way, let your light shine before people today that they may see your good deeds and Praise your Father in heaven. It's not about you and I being good people. It's you and I using our voice. That's what we talked about this week to show people who God is. So here's how we end this. And here's the challenge. How? Well, Chris, I don't teach like you teach or I don't get in the front of the camera. That's not it at all. You have a purpose. You're supposed to bring flavor, preservative to lives around you this week. And if you're not doing that, then the Bible goes, then what purpose do you have? What eternal purpose is in your week? if it's not bringing others to know who Christ is. And this is where we all get flustered. Oh, you're going to ask me to stand on the corner witness, or I got to show up at work and bring my Bible and start reading it at lunchtime. No, 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 that's not it at all. Let me just start with the two very basic, very, very, very basic simple things. Number one is this. Pray for God to give you an opportunity that fits you. Do you get that? That fits you. Now I got three kids. If God was going to give them an opportunity this week, and I believe he wants to, to impact his kingdom, they would be very different opportunities. For my middle child, Karis, there may be a large stage with an open microphone in a mall, and someone goes, can someone please come up and tell something about Jesus? And that 20-year-old girl, she'd get up on stage, and she'd rattle off 10, 15 minutes. She's crazy extroverted. And she may come home and go, Dad, it was the coolest thing ever. And I'm like, man, you're, you're just wired weird like your old man. If, if God wanted to give an opportunity for my oldest daughter, Selah, Sayla would come home and go, you know, Dad, remember this girl that I've been working with? Today she came up and she said this, and I just felt like I should say, well, on Thursday nights, we have this big young adult ministry. There's several hundred of them that show up on our campus. Why don't you just come with me? That's where I found a lot of purpose and peace in life. And I'm like, Sayla, you said that? She's like, yeah, Dad, I did. And you know what? She's coming Thursday. See, that would be the platform given to her because she's wildly introverted. In fact, if she knows I'm using her name at a daily dose, I'm going to get a little grief for that. That's just Sayla. And then Bear, I don't know what God would do with that guy. He's kind of a freakazoid. That dude is so witty. He's so sharp. He's so clever. But right now he's into writing songs. He's got this little band. My bet it would have something to do with going, hey, Dad, you know that new bass guitarist we got in our band? He's going to come to winter camp with me. I said, how did that happen? He was just saying that he didn't have any friends or something cool like that. And I'm making this up. I don't even know his new bass player yet. I know they got one. And or it'd be like, Dad, I wrote this song that has something like this. Maybe, maybe that'll speak to people. You see, God has wired you the way he's wired you, and he has a purpose for you this week that fits you. When we hear we got to be a light, we're like, well, I got to be like Chris Brown. No, I love this stuff. You don't. Pray for God to give you an opportunity this week. You know why we don't have opportunities for the kingdom? We're not asking for it. That's the will of God to give you one. Pray, God, give me an opportunity. And secondly, walk with an expectation of seeing that opportunity. And when it happens, just do what comes natural. And my bet is 
You'll be a voice. You'll be salt. You'll be light.